Welcome to my top 10 foil style crashes so far. These are all my best crashes from my trip to Jericoquara in Brazil. For anyone that doesn't know what foil style is, it's freestyle windsurfing, but on a hydrofoil. So without any further ado, let's get into the action with number 10. So guys, for context, I had only really done wind foiling three or four times before this. So when I first arrived in Jerry with the new gear, it took me a bit of a while to learn how to set up the foil and the base plate in the position that I wanted it, as you can see by some of these catapults. It kind of is very different to windsurfing in terms of where you put your weight and how you sail. And so as you can see, I had some huge catapults like this one here. I think this was my favorite. Oh, super big slam. But yeah, it all comes down to where you put your mast track and your foil in the board, and we got there eventually. And at number nine, we had to learn how to turn around. I'd done wind foiling, as I said, but I'd never really learned how to jive. I just kind of learned how to get up on the foil. So learning to turn around actually proved to be a lot harder than I thought it would. It actually took me five or six sessions to really start consistently jibing. But as you can see here, I eventually managed to get the jibes pretty clean, which only led to more freestyle later on. At number eight then, we come to start learning foil styles, which is getting airborne. And as you can see, I successfully get airborne here, but my board doesn't. I load up the foil, but a little bit too much, hit the wave and then get bogged down and thrown out the front door. At number seven then, we start getting airborne and I go for my first shackers. This is kind of the first move that I learned on the foil as I thought it would be the easiest. As you can see on this one, I under rotate completely. The sail powers up going one way, the board gets stuck and I get going the other way and my back foot's in the strap and it's just a big nightmare. Next up, I try to learn how to flacker next as this is something I do quite well on the fin. But as you can see on this attempt, it's quite scary because you've got to lean forwards while you're popping the foil, which is quite scary. My front foot comes out the foot straps, you lose all control. And then from there, you're just hoping and praying and the slam wasn't too bad, thankfully. Moving on then into the top five, now things getting tasty. I started getting really confident with the shaka. And as you can see, I got a little bit too overconfident on some of these as I learned to really over rotate and go into an air shaka. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's some huge slams as you get so much whip from the sail and the foil and it just whips you down real hard. This one, I had so much power, I just had to dump it and throw that sail down. Really brutal crashes there. At number four then, everyone in Fiesta at the last Freestyle Pro Tour event was doing Pascos and that was scoring super high. So that was right at the top of my agenda. As you can see, I start getting the rotation, but my sail and body weight is not far enough across the board. And so I just get whipped. At number three, this one made the movie bittersweet. It's that huge shifty crash. So a bit of a story behind this is that Bowles Muller, iconic for foil style, godfather of foil style, was there on his wing telling me to go for the shifty. Unfortunately, I pulled the trigger a little bit too late on this one, couldn't get the gear underneath me, and it ended in this huge slam. At number two then is by far the scariest crash I had this whole trip. Going for the shaka and just losing control, being a bit too upright and bang. It got to the point too high, the sail was too close. I couldn't get rid of it, so I had to ditch the sail, which again is scary. And it was at this moment he knew. <laughs> and yeah, huge crash there. Really scary because the foil could go anywhere at that point. And at number one then, the reason you've all been waiting for probably one of the pinnacles of windsurfing this move, but maybe not this time around. As you can see, going for the forward loop, but the foil does not release from the water. Pulling anyway, getting whipped over the front. I think one of the reasons I love this so much is the spray coming over the drone at the end. Oh, brutal, brutal crash. So guys, that's it for my top 10 foil style crashes so far. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe down here. And if you want to see the full film that we were filming for this project, then click over here. You can watch Bittersweet, the full 20 minute film. Thanks so much for watching. I'm excited to get to Tarifa next week where I'm going to be jumping back on the foil style gear. So stay tuned to all the action and I'll catch you in the next one.